got a new knife. Yeah. A new knife? Never had a knife. Oh. That's your first knife. I need the knife. What kind of knife is it? I need the knife. What kind of knife is it, Gideon? Show them. Be careful, don't lose any parts. Wooden. It's a wood knife. Who's going to build it? Me and Papa. Papa yeah. Can you build it right now? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm, cooking, I'm cooking our food, buddy. After, after you cook food, I... I don't, I don't, I don't think hey, we're going to do it hey, tonight. Do a cake. Maybe, a I don't cake. know. A kiss. What? A kiss. She wants a kiss. A Eskimo kiss? Yeah. A new, she said a unicorn kiss. <laughs> now a red milk kiss. What? Ew. <laughs> Heavy, no, Heavy. don't lick, she said a lick kiss. You want a kiss? Yeah, kiss, kiss me. Woo! She said ew. She learned she learned the lick kiss from Gideon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Austin just got home from a long day of work. What time did you leave this morning? 6.45. She was gone for 12 hours. Or more. Anyway, um, the kids are so excited. One to Austin's home. Gunner's down for bed already. And Gideon just got his first knife. I was sucker. I I told Austin on our last date. I was like, okay, we're not gonna buy anything. We're just gonna browse. And we went just browsing, and I saw this wooden pocket knife. And hold on, so look at this. So cute. Anyway, I saw this wooden pocket knife and I told us, I was like, Gideon, we, we were just talking to Gideon about how he has to be responsible before he can have an actual pocket knife. And I told him that would be a great idea, practice, all the things for Gideon to have a wooden knife first to learn the safety, where to use it, where to not use it, how to handle things, and then he can move up to an actual knife. So, Give it a, probably a couple more years, maybe another year, and he'll be old enough. But he is so excited to build it with Austin, so we'll see. Austin's grilling some steaks. We we'll have steaks for our late supper. I feel like when the days are longer, like the light, the sun shines longer, we eat later and later and later. So we're eating supper at like 7:30. No, no, it's 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. Well, so we're gonna eat at like 8:30. She's gonna jump on you. Okay. Mm. Yeah, buddy. They're a little more done than we like them. That one's probably better. Yeah. You know arrows. So the rental company just called me. It's 8:30. They're bringing me an excavator. And he broke, well, I'm just renting this one. It broke down three miles from my job site. The wheel fell off his trailer. This is going to be the so best ever. I yeah. my trailer. Things in the on to the job site. But I got to go and get a guy and get the keys for it. Oh, man. It's always something. Always something. Hey. Hopefully, they'll give me a no. discount. I'm sure they will. Papa, please read the map. All right. Okay, hold on. Papa's gonna show you. Hold on. Okay. Let's look so at all the pieces here. Listen, I look at all the instructions. There's a bunch of little pieces, and we don't want to lose them. Oh, okay. Evie, okay, when you big, get bigger, do you, Evie, Evie, when you get bigger, do you want a knife? Yeah. Okay. If I hear you say you're gonna cut someone, I'm taking the knife away from you, and you're not gonna get another knife for a very, very long time. Okay? okay. We do not look in my eyes. We do not even joke about cutting people. 
Okay. Okay. On the flat surface. Okay, this one has the emblem on it. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna face it down on a flat surface. Okay, be sure the emblem is facing down. Insert a pin Excited? in the center hole and the left hole. All right, here's a pin. Listen, we cannot lose these. These are really, really tiny. I think they're short. Really tiny, Gideon. What happened to you? Okay. What happened to your finger? Oh. Um, Papa's worked hard today. He's got lots I have of grease paint. on his hand. It's paint. Oh, it's paint. It's, it's tar. It's tar. Okay. Paint. All right. Let's see. Um, the center hole and the left hole. This one's the <laughs> left hole. Okay. Then place the large spear blade with the thumb notch facing down on the left. Mm -hmm. So this is it here, and we're gonna put it just like mm -hmm. this. Okay. <laughs> on there? Oh wow! Look at that. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Uh, place one of the springs on the center pin. Okay. I need a pin. Give me one of those metal pins. I'm gonna push this down, and you're gonna put that in there just like that. Push it hard. Push it hard. Okay, good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, we're going to set it down like this. Just like Gideon, this. You can pinch it. <laughs> Gideon. All right, Mama, now let's flip it over. Gideon? Place the other spring on the center left pin as shown. You are the best. You are my, you're my, you're my best Gideon ever. Can then so place the small me. spear blade onto the right pin. It is easy to do this with the blade in. It is easiest to do this with the blade in the open position. You will need to push the end of the spring downward to slightly get the blade to slip into place. So I don't this. have a pocket. Okay, like that. All right. Now, guess what? <laughs> this one. That's goes cool. on there. So this goes just like. <laughs> let's see if we can get them all to line. <laughs> there it is. Okay, let's see. <laughs> the blades usually do not open and close smoothly at first. The spring action is greatly improved if you rub candle wax on the blade springs. Once this is assembled, you can take apart and put it back together much easier. All right, let's see. All right, look. Do you want to keep it, in? Yeah. Let's see it, Papa. Is it hard to open? Need kid wax. Okay. okay, listen. Listen, look at me. Oh my goodness. Look at me. There's two knives. There's a little one. <laughs> one for No. Steak. Hey, listen. Hold on. Papa's going to tell you some rules. Okay, listen. Listen. We're going to pretend like this is a real knife, okay? okay? So we don't touch this end, okay? Because that's the sharp end. So if we want to close it, we close it like this, okay? And we push it like this. Hey, look, listen, you have to be very responsible with that new knife. Good job, good. Wow. What if you do like this? It's going to like a hammer. Well, so let me show you something. Watch. Is it made If you to... hold a knife like this, and then you push down like that, watch. Chop! <laughs> look, I'm serious. It'll chop your fingers, okay? If it was a real knife, would it, it cut your knife. finger open? Yep, it would cut your finger open or bigger than Dallas. Me. No, is that, is, look at Mama, Gideon. Gideon, is that a hammer or is that a knife? Okay, don't use it like a hammer. Use it as a knife. If you use it as a hammer, it'll break it. Yeah, so you don't want to break your new knife. Uh, yeah, so you don't want to break your new knife. Nice! Okay, nice. let's see it. Bring it over here. Let's see it, Gideon. Wow. I'm going to paint it and then dry it paint off. It. I just turned the camera on. This is the first time I've seen my face today and forgot I didn't put makeup on, but oh well. Um, it is 77 degrees outside. I'm so excited. It is hot in the sun. So, I am going to let Gunner, we'll see how Gunner does, but I set up the water table and 
I think he is going to love it. Oh, Gunner. Oh, Gunner. What do you think, Bubs? Gunner, what is that? <laughs> what do you think, Bubs? No, we don't eat rocks. Look, Splash Bob. What does he think, Evs? You think he likes it? He wants to eat all of the rocks. He's not sure what to think about it. Here you go, Bubs. Do y'all think Gunner likes it or not? I think. Do y'all see Gunner? He is just cruising. He's just cruising. Oh, that's gonna be pokey on you, bud. No, sir. No, sir. We don't eat rocks. What? All of my babies, nope, nope. I, I've i been like on play dates with other moms and they've told me, they're like, oh, well, my kids didn't really ever put stuff in their mouth. And I was shocked because I just thought that that was a normal phase that babies go through. Like all of my kids have put stuff in their mouth and I mean, I don't remember when they normally stop, but it's like a long, it's like a long ordeal. I don't know, I'm curious. Like, how many of you guys do your kids put stuff in their mouth? Like my kids, it's everything. They, whether it's just like curiosity about texture or taste or whatever, but I feel like it lasts for my kids for a long time. And it's just like curiosity, like, ooh, what's this? Or, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. I'm not sucking my thumb. You're not sucking your thumb anymore? Ever again? No. What do you get if you don't suck your thumb for 10 days? Get a big fries, big gum. Yep, you get your own big gum. box of gum. And then what if you don't suck your thumb for 30 days? A big prize. Yep. We started this new incentive program. Our dentist. Oh, oh, no, no, give me that. At the end, um, our dentist recommended that we do an incentive program for Gideon before trying anything more. He said 30 days, every day, like give him a little prize every so often, give him a little bit of a bigger prize. So Gideon, every day, he he's on day two and he's done really good about reminding himself, but if he does not suck his thumb, at the end of the day, he gets two slices of mango and then at the end of, uh, dried mango actually it's not like mango mango he loves dried mango um, so at the end of the day he gets two slices of dried mango I don't know if that would have motivated motivated me as a child but it motivates him and then at the end of 10 days he gets a box of gum for himself and then at the end of 30 days he gets a big prize which to be decided but um, he is so excited about that. And he's really doing a great job. Sorry, y'all, just keep y'all getting this week. His allergies are so bad. So, we just gave him some allergy medicine today. He's been taking it a week. But I missed one day, and that one day was like super windy, and I think the pollen, hold on, come here, I'm gonna talk to you, let me talk to you. That pollen was so bad, his eyes like were almost full shut last night, weren't they, babe? Mm -hmm. They're so bad. Anyway, Gideon, guess what we're going to do though? Evie and Gunnar are down for naps. Yeah. And do you know where you and me are going to go? Where? We Let me guess. Go. You're going to go get ice cream. No. No. You're going to go to the dentist. No. You're going to go... <laughs> I don't know. Where are you going, Gideon? We are going to go... I do know, actually. Somewhere. <laughs> Because you have crazy hair, <laughs> and we're gonna go get you a haircut at the barber shop. Okay, let's see your hair. Now stand, look at Mama smile. Now look that way. Now look the other way. Good job, okay.
smile and look that way and look the other way. Babe, you gonna tell them what's happening today? What is happening today? Um, today's another day in paradise. I am gonna go to work like most good Americans and I'll already be outside, so I won't have to walk outside, and then I'll see the eclipse. So I'll go back there. It'll be great. And everyone wants me to stay home. So we can see the eclipse together. But I have a lot of work i got to get done. So. Gotta go. Well. Yes, today is the big, long-awaited uh, solar eclipse. And we are in the pathway for the total solar eclipse. The totality. But we're not. Totality. We're not. No, it's about. It's about fifty. Well, but we'll get. We'll get mostly total coverage. But yeah, about forty miles south of us is the hub, epicenter for the total eclipse. And so traffic is going to be crazy. There's a lot of people like around in town. I just realized that our car is covered with pollen. Do you see that, babe? Yeah, I know. It's like a layer of pollen. We, we just had it washed. Yeah. Anyway, it's going to be a crazy day. Well, it's going to be an exciting day, even with Austin not here. The solar eclipse is a big deal. We got our glasses. <laughs> we are ready to go. <laughs> oh, that was a big hug. No, sir. Can I be yoga? Love you, Papa. Love y'all. Good day. Say bye, Papa. Bye, big guys. Okay, it's time. It is starting. I'm gonna put it all the way over your eyes, Evie. Turn it around. Okay, do not look at it without your glasses on, okay? I can't see. Because the sun will hurt your eyes. Now go step down here. Evie, don't trip. <laughs> okay, now stand right here. And can you look up at the sun? Yeah. You see it? And where's the moon? The moon is, well. I see it. You see it? Now, don't, don't take your glasses off. Can you see it? Do you see it? It's just a big round ball in the sky. Yeah. That's the sun. And where's the moon? It's so cool. Do you see the little, the little black spot at the bottom? No. He woke up just in time for the eclipse. Obviously, he's not going to be looking at it. I'm just going to let him come out and hang out with us. While he eats his puff puffs. Gunner, you ready to see it, bud? It's a beautiful day. Can't even tell on the camera, but it's like a very, I don't know. It feels like there's a nightlight on right now. That's insane. You can see the lights inside pretty good. Yeah, but they're not the purpose. Look at the, look at your glasses right here. Are these yours? Oh, you have yours? Oh, those are David's. Can you give David his? It looks the same in the camera. Ooh, this, is, uh, this is the time. Okay, this is as good as it's gonna get, guys. Yeah. See, we can have stay out David, David's house. Oh, look, that's baby. a tiny sliver. That's crazy. Gideon, did you look at it? Yeah. Get your, it's a get your tiny, glasses. tiny sliver. Okay. So the moon is just in front of the sun, like this. And yeah, baby. And we're on the earth looking at it. Well, that was so cool. I don't know if it would be like something that I would initially travel to go see. Um, but that was awesome. I'm glad that it came the pathway of our house. Austin um, called me when, when it was like ride at totality. And he said that he was able to see it from where he was working. And... That was a cool experience. Once in every 20 years as it come to the States. So that was really amazing to get to see that. Anyhow, okay, Evie, do you wanna tell them? Say, we're gonna see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. We're gonna see you next, folks. We're gonna see you next week, bye.
Okay, give him a high five. High five! Twist what? and a kiss. No, you have to... Twist oh, kiss. and a kiss. Now a hug, now a squeeze, now a snuggle, now a night-night time. Okay, so see you guys next week. See you guys next week.